Base perversions! Alright. So we're back to a uh, tech base style map again. This is looking quite a Romero like, actually. Need the yellow key to open that door. Oh, look at that, though, this uh, jagged sector work. Um, that's definitely something going wrong with the base. Whoa! What was that? Oh, okay, so I, I can teleport my way back if I need to. Oh, and you've put blocking lines on the edges, so you can have your detail, but you can't uh, have the player cheat and use it as a bridge. Alright, so this is this looks like my only option. And we have a techno blue type uh, series of corridors. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I didn't pull the switch and I heard the door open. That's 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 good, making things more interesting on the way back. Something's happening over here. Whoa! Where'd he come from? So yeah, I think that was another monster closet hidden off the map. Very good. Uh, okay, so what did that do apart from raise the um, raise the wall of the monster closet? That's a red key, that's a red key, that's that's nothing. Um, I usually like to give some indication as to why a door can't be opened, um, but I think some of the original Doom maps did that as well, so it's not it's not a big deal. Ah, oh, there we go, okay. Okay, so the yellow skull key is just a bit brighter in this, uh, in this, oh, I can't, I can't jump up and get it. No, no, no jumping allowed. There we go! Ah, oh, you've just got to hit my way through these imps instead. Great. Nice use of uh, fire blue, by the way, simulating the cracks in reality. Um, yellow door. I like I like that you're not afraid to use space, by the way, because um, when I make it, what I, I I find that I I not I draw a nice big open space and then I immediately fill it with all kinds of garbage. Um, making the player not able to move around after all. Oh, I like the, uh, I like the crate stepping stones. <laughs> if only I were better at using them. Here we go, here we are. Yeah! I have navigated a small stepping stone. Okay. Yeah, as I said that um, the oh, as I said that these maps uh, remind me of Romero. Uh, by the way, with the tech base, I uh, just want to mention again that uh, there's a community comp project called Project Romero just now happening at the uh, Zed Doom forums, and uh, it's uh, to show support for. Uh, uh, it's just show appreciation, I should say, for Romero's role in the community and especially his support of uh, trans rights. Uh, because there are a, 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 a frankly astonishing number of trans people in the Doom community. Uh, it's like furries and ZZT. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't really know what happened. But uh, yes, it's a very positive thing, and uh, you should get in on it if you want to, uh, because uh, not enough people are mapping for it, frankly. This isn't all strictly relevant to this uh, project, but uh, somebody mentioned it negatively in the YouTube comments when I mentioned it last, and I want to bring it up as often as possible just to annoy him. Okay, this room's in dire need of redecoration. Um, and there's the other side of the red door. Um, yeah, the, you've you've got you've got all the hellish architecture here. Oh, and some intestines, and a baron. Use the rocket launcher on him. Oh, that reminds me that I saw a rocket launcher a while ago. Um, did I pick it up? While I was distracted. There's a... There's a light wall there. There's a rocket launcher there. I've got one of one secrets. Oh. I just have to walk down and get it. So that must have... Uh, I must have opened that earlier. Okay, and is this going to lead me outside? 
Uh, let me just a uh, small comment on here. Uh, it's more common to use support or plat or plat one, I think its name, uh, for for the sides of lifts. But it was very obvious in that case that it was going to be a lift platform, I should say. Okay. Oh, this is nice. This is a bit overly generous, if I'm being honest. Right. Okay. Nice big secret area. It's uh, it's nice to be uh, teased with something outside and then being able to actually get there. Um, what you can do on the sides of Doom maps like this to avoid uh, being able to uh, walk out into uh, basically the void uh, is you, you add just a small outer wall uh, to give the player a buffer. Just like you've done on the end there. Okay, before I go in that door, is there anything else around here? And I can go onto that this ledge, and maybe back up onto that one. Oh, and that just gets me to uh, where I came in. But there we go. Oh, I've just I've uh, I've just remembered there's no music, um, which is a little odd. It's not entirely unwelcome because uh, uh, maybe you don't want to hear uh, D running for the six billionth time in your life. Alright. Okay. I thought that was going to be the end, but uh, I should have looked at the monster can because it's nowhere near over. There we go. All right, let's climb this weird artifact edifice. I don't, I don't know what word I'm trying to say anymore. Can I get you in? Okay, I, I hear some fights going on behind me. Just fire off some rockets. Try to stop any problems before they start. Okay, that's got rid of most of them. You've got you've got the hellish decoration, uh, really, really, quite well, I would say. Uh, I'm just I'm sorry I'm just I'm just checking to see if any of them are blocking. <laughs> Trying to be thorough. It's odd because in vanilla Doom, um, all these decorations are completely blocking in a cylinder, or I think more accurately, a cuboid around their, uh, around their bounding box. And I can't remember if uh, th that's something that Zedoom corrects away or not, by default. Okay. So what did that do? I don't know, but I can get onto here from there. Oh, uh, no need. I could have just used the stairs. <laughs> what did that do? Whoa, okay. Um, just trying to decide the best implement to take this on. Oh, I'm on top now. I heard a rumbling from my left. I'm, you know, the the usual desperate hope that the rocket launcher doesn't suddenly see something right below me and fire one emphatically into the ground. Alright, so that's landing up here. Uh, what else can I do? Let's check if I haven't uh, missed any switches. What's that? Nothing special. The... That is 100% going to be a bridge to that teleporter, but I just need to work out how to raise it. So I've done the switch up there. I've done the switch over there. What else is there? I've done the switch up there, yeah. 
Oh yeah, so so this switch up here. What's on top of that? There's a switch on top of that. So I need to work out how to get there. I'll drop there. That'll come up. That drops that. Okay. Uh, it's useful. Um, it's useful if you were to realign that switch so it was facing this platform, so the player could see exactly what it did. But uh, it's again, it's not. It's not a huge problem. All right. Kaka demons are closing in. Oops. Yeah, always, always keep your eye on your feet. Don't have any feet. That's the problem. All right, base perversions finished. Um, excuse me a minute. All right, continue. I was just checking to see if I'd actually recorded any audio. <laughs> All right, uh, cliffside calamity. All right. Oh, and immediately they start teleporting in right behind you. This is this is uh, pretty nice. You've got some complex architecture here with the marble pillars. Um, you could even use some of the um, marble pillar decorations to uh, to fill out those spaces, just if you wanted. I'm not telling you what to do. Whoops! Oh, my shaky balance has let me down yet again and dumped me into a lake of demons. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I can't remember if I've been seeing much health recently, by the way. I've, uh, I know there was that vast uh, lake of it in the secret area, but uh, I can't remember if I've picked up any health packs recently? That's, what, that, that's something I was supposed to be looking out for, uh, ammo and health balance. And it seems to have gone alright so far. I wasn't doing great at the start. I remember seeing myself on 55 health quite a lot, or thereabouts. And then I was um, not all that challenged for a bit, and then it's uh, th this has raised the stakes a bit again. I think finding the, the blue armor has really helped early on. Okay, so... Again, that would have been much more difficult to find in the middle of the Doom without uh, looking up and down. Okay. Now to find out what that did. Possibly something here? I'm not, not really sure. Okay. What was this called again? Cliffside Calamity, yeah. Sounds more like a track for micro machines than a doom level. Um, where, where do I go? Because I had that, I had that switch. Leave me alone. Ah, there's a teleporter. Great. There's another one, and that leads me to the cliffside. So that leads me to this button, which leads me to this teleporter, which gives me another blue armor. Inside a secret this time. It wasn't all that hard to find, to be honest. But, but yeah, I suppose, again, I wouldn't really have uh, found it if I were playing Vanilla Doom without the ability to look up and down and uh, see that teleporter nestled in the rocks. Oh. So I've been asked recently uh, to join a panel of people on the Zedtoon forum who are uh, going to review wads, and uh, I don't quite know how I got the reputation as being some kind of uh, seasoned modder when I've done exactly one thing in Doom in my life. Um, but it's nice to know that people appreciate me. Okay, let's see. So, um... Uh, where did I fall down? There. Yeah. Where are you shooting from? Up there, okay. 
Alright, so I pulled that switch. I found my way out along these. It's a nice double use of the sectors, by the way, to uh, put those enemies in the nooks and crannies below where you're jumping across. Alright, so that raised here, that raised that, that lets me get that switch. A lot of switches in here doing a lot of different things. Any time a level becomes quiet is generally a sign that maybe you need to do a bit more, unless unless you're using quiet as a sense of foreboding. And again, there's always there's always balance to be had, so you don't really need to pay attention to anything I say. Let's be honest. Okay. Oh, hole. And so the cliffside calamity's finished. There had to be a sewer level. There always does. Okay. Whoop. They've seen me. All right. So this is, you know, it's not bad as sewers go. I'd give it a four and a half out of five stars. It's spacious. It's, um... Oh, this actually reminds me of one of the, um... Is it in TNT one there's a level like this with the broken islands? I can't remember. See, I don't, I don't even know... There are people in the forums who, who can go, oh yes, E4M3, yes, and uh, that compares to E3M5 of TNT1.1. Uh, and I, I don't know half the map's names. I'm just some idiot who happens to have access to uh, some recording equipment and uh, just decided to use it to share some thoughts. But some people have made a career out of that. Oh, he, he stepped through. Does that, yeah, I can as well. Uh, likely a mistake, you might want to set the blocking flag on that. I can't remember what it's called in Vanilla Doom. Uh, now I've completely probably messed up my progression. I'll... I'll, I'll just... Um, I'll, 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 okay, I, I, should, I should go back. That's what I should do. Because that is letting me access the yellow key door early. Yeah, so I meant to go through that last. Okay. Um. So that's the yellow, that's the blue. Oh, I've got the yellow key, so it didn't even matter. Sorry. The iron brew will get you through. <laughs> Quite literally, in this case. If I had had a bit more patience, I would have uh, modified the messages to say this door requires a can of iron brew to get through, but uh, I didn't really want to mess with uh, the messages too much. I might put this out on the uh, forums as a mini mod, or maybe I'll just uh, make the yellow a bit higher contrast like a normal person. Okay, um... Yeah, I definitely like the uh, the sewer aesthetic. This room's a bit big and blank. You could uh, have done a bit more with some of the corners. Uh, I'm like the Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen of Doom commenting on your interior design. Uh, oh no, I've got, I've got the blue key card, so that's all I actually need here. Um, yeah, because Doom offers you so much with so little. You draw a sector, it can be any shape at all, you can fiddle with the heights, you can do so much with just that. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a nice use of non-completely uh, square rooms uh, throughout most of this level. Okay, here's the bio suit. I, gla I just glanced at the secrets counter and found none on this level, but uh, I just wanted to mention also that uh, I really appreciate putting secrets into maps as well, because they're, they're always uh, fun to go exploring. Some people even like to put secrets on maps and not mark them as secrets, so that there's even more of a reward and the player uh, doesn't know how many there are and doesn't know he's missing one.
Um, chainsaw again. Oh, wow. I, I, I just got, um... There is a German word for <laughs> the feeling that you get when a train is passing you on the other direction and you're not sure whether your train's moving or the other train. It would be Zug... Verkeglickergeheit. <laughs> and... <laughs> And uh, it, it, it refers to that sensation. And I just got it from there. I wasn't sure whether I raised everything else or whether, uh, where I dropped everything else or if I raised. This is a good uh, way to pressure the player, by the way, uh, to put them in a trench and uh, have a lot of enemies on higher ground. As you're searching for a way to get there. Thanks for the rocket launcher. There's no real need to have this out at the moment, but uh, it's, it's nice to have. Okay. Okay, so it, it was these raising. I, I could tell because of the um, uh, the plasma suddenly apparently started going into the ground. So how do I get that soul sphere? Hmm. This looks promising. There we go. That's a nice little extra. In collecting a few rockets, let's use a couple. Okay, so where was that switch? It's not here. Where was that switch that lowered all these? I think it might have been in this direction. Yes, there we go. Okay, so how do I get up there? Mm. Rocket launchers can to ensure that uh, those imps move by the time it actually gets to them and uh, can only mildly annoy them. What do I do? So that's that's pressed, that's taken care of. Um there's another one over here. Hmm. I don't usually like cutting these videos, but this is beginning to feel awfully like a cut. Because <laughs> I'm not sure what I should be doing here. Alright, 99 out of 111. Aha! What's that? It does exactly the same thing as the switch has already pulled. So let, let's see if the auto map has any clues. Uh, oh, is this? Does this say something? Toe, me, toe might, Joe, Joe, Jove, Yo, Jovemity. I don't know. Can't wait for all the comments telling me that I can't read as well as I can't play Doom. Where do I go? Mm -hmm. Is there anything I haven't explored over here? Nothing I haven't explored over here.
Let's make our way back. So this intrigues me here because there's no um Yeah, so there's a passageway in there. Mm. Been in there. Mm -hmm. mm. Gone through here. Oh, this doesn't appear to actually be harmful. Watch out for that. Maybe. Well, <laughs> I was just I was just thinking that um, maybe there should be a check in Doom Builder for if there's a nukage or lava surface on the floor without any damage applied to it. Conversely, if there's a Ah, there we go. If the uh, conversely, if there's a floor that doesn't look damaging but has damage applied to it, but I, I feel that there must be a lot of exceptions there. Nevertheless, you you don't have to use the checks, do you? There we go. All right, where are we? We are 50 minutes into this video, or uh, probably 20 minutes in. I'll probably split it up into two parts. What's next? Back to Earth, or are you?